signed with the Giants when he was selected in the 15th round in 2005. Popped him up. You feel fly roll be called momentarily. Alonzo has trouble with it and it drops free. The batter's out. Oh the runners man. can advance and Ruiz is oh. out at second base. Jeez. It's a double play. He what? didn't tag him though. He didn't tag him, right? Whoa. He didn't tag him, exactly. I was thinking that too. What's he doing? He doesn't tag him. But Black is going out. Because that's a double play. Carlos makes a huge mistake there and gets away with it. See, the hitter is automatically out, right. so that erases the force. And the, and the runners can go at their own risk. Right. Here it is right here, and he doesn't tag him. Yeah, has it's his not foot a on the force bag. anymore. Oh. And Carlos kind of leaned away. That and fooled the, me. And now yeah. if he tags him, he still could have tagged him. So the putout goes to Alonzo. Here it is, the infield fly rule, the batter's automatically out, but that takes the force off. Right, they're, they're thinking that since Rollins is running, as the arm goes up. And now, now Carlos Ruiz, is, you know, it's almost like he forgot the rule. Right. You know, he doesn't have to go anywhere there. He hits that type of ball this time, it might be a 4-6-3. Skied to short left. In comes Moya. That should be an infield fly. Allen, that ball's gonna drop. Charging home, it's a force play, and out at the plate is Landon Miner. And coming over to argue is going to be the head coach. And guys, that's going to be a double play because in just field mentioned fly. an infield fly. The ball stayed in the infield. The hitters automatically out, and the runners run on their own. The home plate umpire called him out, so that's a double play, guys. The runners run at their own discretion, their own peril, if you want to call it. Let's go! Come on! So to the infield fly is called. The runner goes out on his own. The tag is made after the catcher comes down, lands on the plate that had it not been called, and it dropped in. It would have been a base hit. Well, an interesting play to end the top half of the third. Oh, I mean, this is an infield fly. The umpire pointed up. That's an automatic out, and the hitter is out. Now the runners advance at their own risk. Shortstop picks up the throw, and ha you have to tag him at home. What Coach Ray DeLeon was com uh, complaining about or arguing about was he touched the plate before the tag, and it looked like on that instant replay that he did touch it with his hand before he was tagged out by the catcher. Matt yeah, Rudick. talking to the umpire, guys, you know, I was asking him, I said, was it one of those things? So you could see where Miner slid. He slid to the right side of the home plate, and I said, well, what did he try to do, reach back? And I don't think either the umpire didn't pick it up or maybe he didn't see or maybe the plate was dirty when he came across the plate. We got a replay of the slide and he He actually missed the game. He like actually he missed, missed the plate. That's and a great tried call by home plate umpire. And he didn't get there. And that's a terrific job by JJ Norton to block that plate. And you have to, as Miner, had to go around him. It was a crazy play. Had to go around him. He tried to reach back and try to tag it with his hand, and he missed it, guys. Let's take a look at this one more time. Is that those fingers on the plate right there? Now, my argument so was like. <laughs> that the catcher's foot had touched the plate with the bases loaded, which would make it a force out. But with the infield fly, even though the bases are loaded, there's no force out. The runners right. were able it's to It's treated like a sacrifice risk. fly almost. Correct. Where the throw would have to come in. You have to make the tag there. It's not a force out. But on that last replay, it looked like, as you slowed it down, that his fingers might have gotten the back. Very tough call right there. It was a tough call. It looked like a lot simpler. And I think what Ray Costa de Leon for the Bandidos were saying, you have to slide through the bag. If he slides through the bag and slides underneath J.J. Norton, then he's safe. If he, tra he tried to go around that tag, it was a bang-bang play. I don't often say this, but you know what? I might agree with the umpire. <laughs> Not Matt many Rudick times. Trying to get things started here. And the home half of the third, and he works the count full. Well, it was a great call. He is really a Dave Duncan type pitcher. Popped up. Who wants it? Drop by Molina. They do have a play, though, at third. He'll go to second for the out. That is the second time we have seen that. They're going to say that he is safe. They're going to say the runner at second is safe. And the umpires, I'm sure, will come through here on this. 
Is it an infield fly? Yes, that's the infield fly rules call. And that du double so, play, you run under your own risk. Yeah, double play on this. Yeah, the Pirates can argue because it really was miscommunication. Well, crazy play to end the top of the first. Let's take a look. Well, here, Initially, it was called by one of the umpires as an infield fly. Yes, and so on an infield fly, the batter is out. Runners can advance, but at their own risk. So it's two unassisted. And let's take a look at the second base umpire. He does motion. Right. Runners go. And the pitch is popped up. So Pujols and Schumacher have to retreat. This may drop, and it does. They'll get a force play at second. Pujols was in no man's land. They're trying to say a double play, but why? So it has to be an infield fly rule. And runners advance at their own risk. But boy, was it called? Watch a second base umpire. That's the crew chief, uh, Mike Riley, and he does call for the infield fly here. So runners do advance at their own risk, and we have a double play. Straight up. Espinosa drifts on the ball. Falls fair. They're going to get an fly. out of the deal. It's an infield fly. Oh. They called an infield yep, fly. They did. And that ball kept drifting into the outfield. But the run scores because you advance at your own risk. I tell you, Espinosa was never really comfortable under that baseball, and it went up. Second base umpire Chris Guccione called the infield fly right away. Runners can advance at their own risk, so the run scores. It continues to backpedal, but Guccione, the second base umpire, called the infield fly as soon as it went up into the air. Swinging a little one hopper to second. Phillips will come home. They get the out at the plate and turn it into a double play. Wow. That's a great play right there. Brandon Phillips probably could have caught that on the fly. Let's it bounce. Obviously, it's not infield fly because because it's not in the air, not not a pop up in the air. That's what I think. That's what Bob Guerin's saying. Hey, it's an infield fly because you saw Brandon Phillips right there not catch it. it. It's it's almost like a low line drive. What a smart play by Brandon Phillips. Gets the out at home, rings up the and, and gets the guy at third. Jerry Crawford saying, Hey, that ball's not a pop up. It's not a, it's not in the air. He's saying the Bob Garrett saying the ball's in the air. It's an infield fly ball, but the, the, that ball was that ball could have got that. Yeah. He, gone. <laughs> he had to he had to do it at that point. Oh, right? Jerry, yeah, he, he, Jerry Crawford is not going to not stand but for that I, all day I mean, long. Bob Garrett had to make sure at that point that he got thrown out. Oh, hey, Bob Garrett's got to get thrown out right there. He comes out to make the point doesn't hear what he wants to hear. But see here. So, he might have a point, but the ball is a sinking. It's a sinking line drive. He's not camped under the ball. You know, he's not coming in to get that ball. That ball is a sinking line drive. I don't know that any of the umpires called for the infield fly rule. Usually, that is a tough ball. You know, off the bat, you'll see the signal that the infield fly rule is in effect. And yeah. I, again, we didn't get a good look at, at the. Uh, well, this might tell us if somebody was putting that hand up in the air. No. No, no one Not was. at any point. In fact, clearly, you saw Jerry Crawford say. No catch, no infield fly rule signal was given. You could you could really make the point where that ball was it was really a dead ball. I mean that ball was not hit that well. It, it, it was dying when it got to Phillips. Obviously, I think Phillips could have caught that ball, but it wasn't it wasn't so noticeable that you would call the infield fly rule after the ball left the bat. Provides all the power, and he's out for quite a while. Little pop up. Loney is there. He'll let it drop. Then tags the runner, steps on the bag, and they get the double play. Heads up play by James Loney, and there wasn't much that Brett Phil could do about it. Phil figured Loney was going to catch it. The only gamble is that the ball hits the ground and takes a bad hop. But see, Phil has nowhere to go. Loney spears it, tags him, and then just goes to the bag. So it's an unassisted double play. 
So a heads up by Loney. That one to me. Popped up. Suzuki, Barton, it's going to be Barton who's fighting with it, and he caught it. Backpedaling, and he falls down, but he made the play. I don't think he saw it. The way he went after the ball, put his hands up, and I think initially he knew it was his ball, but watch him when it comes in right here, puts up like, where's the ball? And that's the indication because he backpedaled, found it as he started backpedaling and went down, but I think that showed right there. A very tough son. He ended up finding it, but had to go to the ground to make the catch.